your healing come in this place we call for signs and wonders in this place 
let your presence flow in this place. Let your power flow in this place. Let your healing come in this place. We call for signs and wonders in this place. Let your presence flow in this place. You called us father, we answer. Your daughters are here, your sons are here. And you are here to show us who we are, Father. You are here to bring back and to give us back everything the enemy has stolen. You are here, oh God, Father, to restore everything the canker worm has eating up. We are here, Father, to receive a touch from you. We know that as your word comes, it will invade our hearts. It will go into every corner, Lord, and dig up everything that is not of you, and it will flush it out. Thank you, Father. Lord, have your way. Have your way. Ah, Lekose Pradigadosh. 
Some of you don't know how you got here. The Lord pulled you here. He pulled you here. Lika pradigados ele bazantaya no shetianda. Ah, leke se pradegadia na satalia pradegados. He means business with you. Eh, karu pradigadia satalian de de bos. Eh, kele bos satalian da da basi pradegados shetelia. I kanun se tele bos shataya da 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 da. The Lord is working on your inside. He's working on your inside. He's working on the inside of you. Ripali kupra digado sheteli ados. I kana na 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 masupra digado sheteli adabasuta ya. Oh devil, you have to pack your bags and go. Every baggage you came with, you have to take it. You have to take it with you. You have to go. Your time is up. Your time is up. Devil, your time is up. These are the daughters of God. These are daughters of Zion. They are here. Rikalu shetelebo sataya. Meke setelebo. The father paid a price. He paid a price. He paid a price. They belong to God. They belong to God. They belong to the father. Rikalu shepradegados. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, open up our hearts. Open up our ears. Our inner ears. Download blueprints. Blueprints. Clear blueprints of how we ought to live going forward. Download into the hearts of your sons and daughters blueprints. Clear blueprints of what they ought to do going forward. Oh, we banish confusion from our midst. We banish doubt from our midst. We banish unbelief from our midst. Father, have your way. Have your way. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We can go. It's done. You can have your seat. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to start by thanking God, the maker of me, the maker of Kemi Fred Adetiba. He's the one who has made this day possible. He is the one who he's the one who has made this day happen. And without him, none of us will be here today. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. I want to thank my bishop, Mama. Thank you for being here. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Thank you so, so much. That's Bishop Hope John Praise from Dominion Chapel International Churches. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you so much, Mommy. Thank you, my big Mommy and big Daddy, all the way from London. Thank you for coming. And thank you, my big daddies at the back as well. Thank you very much for gracing us with your presence. And for those that are here, you are the reason why we are here. So thank you for coming. Thank you for taking your destiny so seriously. Thank you for taking that which God wants to do in your life so seriously. Hallelujah. One thing I'm excited about is not the atmosphere that we create here. It's the atmosphere that is waiting for you when you leave this place. Amen. Amen. There's an atmosphere that's waiting for you when you leave here. Your life is not going to be the same again. Even if you wanted it to remain the same, it won't. Because you have entered a covenant. You've entered a deal. Your presence here has sealed you. It has locked you into this thing. Amen. So there's no going back. Father, thank you because your word will illuminate every heart, illuminate every life. Um, there, are, there, there are quite a number of people in the Bible that really intrigue me. And one of those persons happened to be Mary. Um, and that's Mary, the mother of Jesus. 
I find her very interesting and I want us to key into every 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 way that she lived in in truth and in reality to who she is and her identity in God. Amen. You know something very interesting is when the spirit of God the angel came up to Mary and told her you are carrying and what you are carrying is big. I'm paraphrasing. I know you think you're small, but what you're carrying is big. And the world needs what you are carrying. That was what the angel came to tell her. The world needs what you're carrying. And what did Mary do? Mary immediately said, How would this be? How can it be? Doesn't make any sense. Defies logic. Defies reasoning. Defies science. And the angel of the Lord told her that the Holy Spirit will overshadow you. <laughs> I'm a product of the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit. I'm standing here today because the Holy Spirit has overshadowed me. And even if I wanted to resist, I can't anymore. Because it's his power that is at work. Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord told her that the Holy Spirit will overshadow you. The hand of the Lord will be upon you. That is what makes the difference. That is what makes the difference. The fact that the word of God comes and it's saying <laughs> with the word comes the spirit to make it happen. With the word comes the potency to make it happen, to make it a reality. Forget about you and your limitations. I'm doing the job. God is saying, I'm the one doing the work. I just need you to, to say yes, that it's possible. And immediately Mary was like, yeah, let it be unto me according to your word. And that is one thing you would see when you eventually read the book. And when you look into the scripture, you realize that it wasn't that Mary felt like she could do it. It wasn't like Mary felt like everything was going to be rosy from that moment on. She just believed the word of God and said, let it be unto me according to your word. According to your word, oh God, let it be unto me. And I want that to be the response of our heart this morning. As the word is coming to you, I want you to say, let it be unto me, God, according to your word. Let it be unto me. Let me be an expression, oh God, of what your word actually talks about. I believe your word. I hold on to it. And that's it. Amen. Amen. That was what Mary did. That was her response. Let it be unto me according to your word. And we ought to be like Mary. Because the truth of the matter is God has told us. When we look into the pages of scripture, you can see and you know that you are carrying something. You know that you are carrying something. There's something on the inside of you that the world needs. But somehow the lies of the enemy and the lies of our environment has stifled us. It's made us think that mm, maybe not me. Maybe not my type. You mean after everything I've been through, let's not even go, let's not even talk about whether or not God loves me. Because that's a different ballgame entirely. Because I don't feel his love. I don't think he loves me. Was he there when this happened to me? But God is speaking to us. And he's saying to us, you are the one that is carrying the seed that the world needs. God is saying to you this morning that you are his divine strategy. He's saying to you that in you he has embedded the codes that the world needs. The hidden codes that, that the, the, the nations are crying after and longing for. It is inside of you. That is what God is saying to you. And let the response of your heart be, let it be unto me according to your word. And when I talked about the atmosphere that is waiting for you on the outside. Because what happened is, the word didn't come and Mary didn't get excited and she just stayed there. What did Mary do? Mary packed herself and ran with haste. She ran with haste to meet Elizabeth. She ran with haste to meet Elizabeth. 
She didn't stay in that state. She didn't just accept the word and live there. She went, she, she, she took a step further into purpose and said, okay, let's see how this will be. I want to go and check out who God has done it for. I want to go and see what the angel actually said would happen if it has actually happened. I want to go and see the life of my sister, the life of my auntie, the life of those who have gone before me. And I want to see, did this really happen? Can God really do what he actually said he's going to do? And there and there, she ran. She ran. And I pray that a lot of us this morning will run with haste. And I trust we know that what I'm talking about is not canal haste. I'm talking about the divine urgency that is pressed upon your spirit to move towards your purpose. Amen. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus that as you divine restlessness upon you until you step in line, until you move and equalize with that which God has for you. Amen. And then the beauty, the beauty of this thing is, <laughs> you know, you can be carrying something and nobody knows. Yes, yes. Yes. You can be carrying something and nobody knows. I mean, it can happen. But in this case, that's not what happened. The minute Mary stepped out and met with Elizabeth, what happened? everything in you everything in you there will be a witness Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. everything you carry someone will tell you that you are carrying it Amen. there will be a testament that God is on the inside of you as you step in and as you look into the mirror of God's word you will see you will see who you are it will jump at you and as you step out Someone else will testify. Someone else will say, yes, indeed, there's something inside you. There's something on the inside of you. When I saw you, something in me leaped. When I saw you, the child in me leaped. When I saw you, things just started changing. My mindset started changing. The minute I met you, my mindset started changing. As soon as I met with you, everything in my life that was just somehow, just begin, it, it began to realign. That is what happens. That is what happens when you're carrying something. It's no longer about you anymore. It's about the millions of people that will testify of what you're carrying. Amen. Amen. I want us to receive this this morning. I want us to receive this word of truth this morning. Because for so long the enemy has lied. And why this is called woman you are fired is because God is he's serious about it. You know when he said he's sitting on the matter. God himself is sitting on the matter. That what is wrong? No, 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 no. I need these people to know who they are. They need to know what they carry. Nations are crying. They are crying because someone is sitting down. Someone is feeling like they are, they, they, their life is at a disadvantage. Meanwhile, inside of them, you have, in fact, the Holy Spirit is your divine advantage. You have the Holy Spirit on your inside. And you, 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 you feel caged. You feel caged. You feel not good enough. And God is saying, no, I need to release my daughters. I need to release my daughters. It is to the advantage of the kingdom of heaven that I release my daughters. So you're not even, your, your, your desire for healing and restoration is not because you want it. God needs it. God needs you to be restored. God needs you to be healed. For so long you have stayed in that place. I call it rougher, rougher. You have stayed in that mess. You know, sometimes when you're, you're in a place of pain, one of the ways pain feels good is when you, pain starts to feel good after a while because you're used to it. Sometimes you want to stay there because it's somehow it's comforting. It's a false sense of comfort. The Holy Spirit is here to comfort you. The Holy Spirit himself is going to comfort you. He's going to change you. He's going to change everything about you until you begin to look like what the word actually says. Amen. Amen. God is on the matter. He's sitting on it. He has invested too much. He has invested too much. It doesn't even matter what people did or what someone said. Okay, it happened. What next? God is next. Okay? Mm, God is next. He's serious about it. He wants you to know. That is why you are here. That's why you are sitting here. Because he said, I need her to know. 
I need her to know. She can't play small any longer. I need her to know. It doesn't matter. Is it abuse? Eh? Do you think they knew what they were doing? The enemy was coming after you. He was coming after the seed. That is why we are telling him to pack his bags and go. He can't reside there. You were abused. But he's not staying there. Because you are not staying there. You are telling him to go. You are telling him to pack out. The residue of the pain and the hurts of the abuse is going. Right now. In the name of Jesus. No longer. He wants to silence you. The enemy wants to silence you. He wants to make you think that the sum total of your life is the abuse. You are not the abuse. You are not the abuse. You are beautiful and wonderfully made by God. You are his workmanship. You are crafted in his image. You are God's. Hallelujah. They say, hey, it's not that easy. Sometimes, yes, therapy is good. Sometimes, yes, go. Let's work it. Let's, this thing, it takes stages. There are different stages of healing. Hmm. Sometimes. But today, God says he's clearing it out. There are different stages, right? Mm -mm, not with this one. God is sitting on the matter. That is what he said I should tell you. I am sitting on the matter and I'm clearing it out. You will function as you are all, you've, you've been designed to function. Amen. It's not their fault. Uh, it's not his fault. That guy, it wasn't his fault. He was hearing the voice of a stranger. He wasn't hearing the voice of God. It's not his fault. It's not his fault. You want to hate him. You want to be angry. It's not his fault. God has come back to restore. He has come back to restore. Your identity is coming back to you. Everything he took. Maku pradigadosh elekeset heliadosha. Rikaliboset heliadosha. How many of you know that song? You make all things new. Sometimes we read it, but we don't realize the reality of what that word is saying. He makes all things new. Let's give God the, the access to... <laughs> let's give him access to show us the power that he really has. Let him make you new. Let him make you new. We have pampered it for too long. Will justice be served? Yes. He's a God of justice. But on your matter, on your own issue, it's done. On your own issue, it is done. Because you must, you must manifest. You must manifest. Is it justice? He will get it. He's a God of justice. He's a God of fairness. But sometimes, even when somebody goes to jail on your account, you are not always whole. So that's not the issue. Amen. The issue is you. And God wants you to be whole. He wants to deliver wholeness to you like this. Like this. Because it is to the advantage of the kingdom of God. God is crying out for his daughters. He's like, I need them to arise. They are part of this army. They are my strategy for the last days. Why are they sleeping? Why are they sleeping? They are the ones that are supposed to pierce the head of the devil. They are supposed to pierce through the skull of the enemy. Why are they sleeping? Why are they sleeping? Please wake them up. And sometimes how God wakes us up is through hips. Amen. 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 Mm. I'm speaking to you, Abby. Mm. It's through hips. <laughs> it's through hips. <laughs> It's through heat. Mm. Woman, you are fire. Mm. You will go through it. It will hurt. It will pain. Until you are like Jesus. Yeah, now I have your attention. Mm. That's the way he works. He loves you too much to leave you following and, and making a mess of yourself. So if he has to bring it, he will bring heat. He will bring heat. You will be you start to look like him he starts to mm, see forgiveness ah I can see forgiveness yeah I brought that heat now I can see forgiveness forming in the life of my daughter yes that's my nature she's beginning to look like me mm -hmm. yes I see that's love 
Yes, that's love. I put her in a situation where everybody hates her. She's supposed to hate everybody, but mm, love is coming out. Love is coming out. I put her in a situation where ordinarily she'll be broken, but wow. Look at this girl. She's whole. She's strong. She's formidable. Okay, let's go. Let's move to the next thing. Look at patience. Ah, I held back from her. I held it back. I wanted to see whether it was the thing she wanted or it was me she wanted. And now I'm seeing her. I'm seeing that she desires me above everything else. Hallelujah. Amen. That is what God is doing. He wants to see his reflection. He wants to see it. It's not, it's, hey God. The manifestation that we are talking about in these last days is not the car you drive or the house you live in. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The manifestation is that people will say, Jesus, who, who is this? Hey, in the midst of all the things that are happening in the year, somebody is still standing for righteousness. Where? Hey. Girls are selling themselves for money and God, who is this girl? Who is this girl? She doesn't have it easy, but she's like, huh, I will wear my badge of honor. That's what we call it at the finishing church. Every time something is refused from me because of Christ, uh -uh, I will go. When I go up, I'll say, Paul, how far? Peter, what's up? Yeah, that's it. Those are my brothers. I'm wearing this badge of honor. You started it. We are finishing it. Amen. Amen. Those are my brothers. Those are my brothers. Stephen. Ah, I saw what you saw too. Mm -hmm. yeah. That thing you saw, I saw it too. And they were stoning me, backbiting, gossiping. Yeah. Ah, 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 Father, forgive them. Don't count it against them. Yeah. Yes. That is what God wants to bring out of us. So that thing you are going through or went through, it's not about that thing. Mm. It's not that thing now. That's what God wants you to see today. It's not that thing. It's who he wants to make you. And who you, he wants to make you is not Vago. It's in the word. Look at Jesus. It's there. It's possible. They tell me, nobody is perfect. Mm, this Christianity, we're just trying. Say, be ye perfect. What does the word say? Be ye perfect. Just as your father in heaven is perfect. We want to do a little bit of the world. Do a little bit of God. And then we're like, God, this, let me tell you, and God even sent me to tell you. Some of us, mm, we, <laughs> he said, if you are lukewarm, I will spit you out. Let me tell you something about that thing. Why are you even, <laughs> hey, Jesus, Father, as you taste me, let me be, let me be palatable to you in the name of Jesus. See, when God tastes you, and he spits you out. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? We cannot do the world and do God at the same time. You want to be able to do that dance. You want to be able to sing that song. And sing hallelujah. It can't work. It can't work. So you see the restlessness you are having in your heart right now. That's it. God wants you to cut it off. He says cut it off. You think you are losing. Cut it off. That thing, has it filled you up? No. Cut it off. That relationship, is it really, really me? No. Cut it off. I've got you. I paid a price for you. That's what I'm talking about life here. I sent my son. Die because, Chioma. Mm. Yes. That's what God wanted to do. He pleased him to do it. So he, you think he will fold his hands and watch you just live anyhow? No. Mm -mm. If he loves you, that's how we say God loves everybody. But if he loves you, loves you, loves you, he will oppose you until you get it right. Amen. So yes, God wants to reveal you to you. The real you that he ordained before time began. He wants to reveal to you. No more brokenness. Because you cannot serve his purpose broken. Say come as you are. Yes, but when you encounter God, you don't go as you are. You come one way, you live another way. 
So when you come to God, you, you, you look into his word. There's a chapter in the book called Mirror, Mirror. When you look into the mirror of God's word and start to see who you are, be like, wow, okay, this is who I am. So why was I thinking that, you know? Look into the word and find out who you are. Your reality is in there. Your truth is in there. Everything you need for life and godliness is inside. It's just a matter of whether you want to receive it or not. And God has called you here today so that you can receive it. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you. Oh, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we bless you. We bless your holy name, Father. Thank you, Lord, because you are setting people free. You are setting us free. You are setting us free. Hmm. I spoke about how God wants to see the nature. Hmm. He wants to see his nature in us. There's someone here. God told me about you before we had this meeting. To tell you how serious it is. And he wants you to forgive your husband. Mm, that's what he says. He says you need to release him. You need to release him from your heart. You need to release your husband from your heart. That is what's standing in between you and manifestation, really. It's nothing else but that. I don't know what he did. I didn't even want to push. God just says to you, to forgive your husband. That is what is standing in the way of you manifesting. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what happened. He's saying forgive him. Forgive him means forgive him. Amen. Amen. I pray for that heart for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for that heart for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for healing in your core. In the name of Jesus, every place of brokenness, I pray for healing in your core in the name of Jesus. And so, talking about looking like Jesus, <laughs> you are fire because you're unstoppable. When it was in the earth, he was unstoppable. He came to fulfill his father's bidding, right? He came to fulfill his father's bidding, right? Yes. He said, I want to be found about my father's business. That is why I'm here. And that is what we should carry with us today. We must be about our father's business. Women who are on fire, they are about their father's business. That is when you are formidable. And being about your father's business doesn't mean that it would be, you'll be free from opposition mm. it doesn't mean in fact most times opposition means you are in the right direction they are not trying to slow you down distract you or stop you sometimes and I want to see or more like God wants to see daughters arising who will say come what me we are, we are forging ahead my husband calls it that in, when, you're, when you're flying, you call it the, and you're about to land, approach, approach pattern. At that point, there is no left, there is no right. We are going to. Anything that is in the way, too bad. But we are moving. And that's it. That's it. The distraction in our day is much. But you have to have your eyes set. I am not looking right. I'm not looking left. Set my face like a flint. Set. I was at a conference last week and I shared with them the scripture that talks about how soldiers should not be entangled with civilian affairs. Too many of us are too entangled with civilian affairs. We are too distracted. We are the army of the Lord. We are supposed to be fighting in the army. People who are in the army, soldiers, they are disciplined. Is it every day? Ah, what's happening? This, this is the new thing that's happened. Oh my God, this is the new news. Oh my God, did you hear that happen? This is the new wave. This is the new trend. Can we have this discussion? Soldiers can't be entangled in everything now. We can't be entangled. Every discussion, we must not have it. First of all, we are already, we, we have our senses are, they are so sharp and heightened that we know what is happening in the world before it happens. Eh, 
He does nothing except he reveals it to his prophet. So everything that is happening, we know. We've seen it. We knew it will happen. We, 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 are, we are here. We are here. So we are not, we are not going to be entangled. We're not go going to be mixed up and matching with, with things in the world that, that don't concern the agenda of the kingdom. And so as daughters, our face has to be like a flint set on God. What is happening? God. Where are you going? God. Is your own not tomorrow? God. He said, mm, God. When God is looking around, who can I send? Mm. We are here. We are here. And I'm looking for my agent. Mm, I'm here. Who can go into the health sector? Mm, me. Who can go into the governance space? Mm, I'm here. We are my vessels. Who wants to go to into the missions? In, in, to do to do missions. Who wants to go into like places that are hmm. Hey, After this place, after this meeting, you will not be able to sleep until you go where the father sends you. You will hear his voice clearly and you will move. You will move. You've been waiting for approval, Abi. This is it. You've been waiting for validation. Here it is. He has validated you. He has validated you. He's saying, go. I'm sending you go. Please go. At this point, he's even begging, go. He's saying, go. What are you waiting for? I've given you your ammunition. It's inside of you. It's here in the world. What are you waiting for? God has called some of you to rescue prostitutes. Amen. It's the dirty work. It's the dirty work that we are running away from. But someone on the someone here, it's in your heart, is pressing, it's pinching you. You can't even let anytime you see them, your heart is broken. That's it. He has sent you. Go and bring them. Go and rescue them. Set up rehabilitation centers for them. Uh, that's what your money is for. That the wealth he has given you. That's what he gave you for. Go and rescue them. Not us too. And that is why I placed that burden on the inside of you. So you will not sleep. Oh. If you think after here you go and sleep as normal, you're joking. <laughs> you're joking. Because God needs the job done. And we are the daughters that will get the job done. Everything he needs, he will get done. Because Kemi is on the scene. Kemi's feet is planted in the earth. Whatever God needs done, he gets done. Amen. Amen. So the devil is going to be very angry. He's going to be very mad. But too bad. Too bad. If he had known, he should not have messed with you. If he had known, he should not have come near your family. That your family issue, that is just, it just seems like the order of the day. If he had known, he shouldn't have set your house on fire because truly, now it has awakened the lion on the inside of you. Now you know that you have the spirit of intercession. And then you stand up every night. You can't help it. You are praying for me like a mad woman. That's it. That's it. If he had known, he should have just left your family. He shouldn't have come near you. You've been praying to God for the fruit of the womb. If the devil had known, he shouldn't have this, made you think that it's God that is withholding from you. Because now that you know that God just needs, hey, hey, he needs a prophet. Hannah Abi, she was praying. She was praying. God, see me now. Help me now. It's been how many years? This person is even making fun of me now. And then she came to the understanding that, let me change it. God needs something. God, what do you need? I need a prophet. Father, when you give him to me, this is what I will do. Aha! Now we are talking. So now you know. Now you know that the seed that you carry is not because you two want to say I'm pregnant. Hey, hey, God needs something in the earth. I'm the one that will carry it. I don't want to just be like, I don't want to seem like, oh, my, my rival. It's not about my rival. It's not about the women that have been pregnant before me. It is about what God wants in the earth. Yes. That is why I'm here. Yes. That is why I'm here. He needs something. I will carry it. 
It's not my desire now. And God said I should tell you. Some of you came with a desire for something. He's changing it. He's changing it. You thought you wanted something. You want A. He's giving you Z. That's how God is. We man. Uh, we woman. You are fire. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy that people who knew me before are here. Some people who knew me before are here. Because they will know that ah, God touched this girl. The, fire, the Holy Spirit has overshadowed this one. I don't even know who this is. That's what's going to happen to you. Amen. You know the story of the man. Let's open it. In um, is it Luke? John 5. John 5. John chapter 5. Let's start reading from the, the verse in... Okay. John chapter 5, starting from verse 5. We know the story. The guy by the well who needed healing had been there for so long. Okay, so one who was, who was there had been an invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, do you want to get well? The invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred story story super story this is what they said oh i need this connection oh i must go to rehab first oh and i must do this first i must have done this and done this i must have godmothers and godfathers i must have been in the politics for 12 years they said that somebody that needs to put like i have to have studied so 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 and so Jesus is like, kill a great kill a Jew. What did I ask? What are you answering? I don't understand. I've come to meet you. Jesus came. I've come for you. I came for you. It is you. I've come to meet you. Do you want it? Hmm? Do you? want it so tell me i'm not sure it's my type um and it's been too long you gave me one time i had an assignment but i missed it you told me i should do this but i didn't do it and jesus is like i've come on the scene i've come on the scene I've come on the scene. Things have changed. When I step into the scene, it's no longer logic. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't worry, I'm fine. When I step into the scene, it's no longer logic. It defies reasoning. My life as I'm standing here defies reasoning. Ask my mom, ask my dad. I shouldn't be standing here. Or do we want to start from the beginning? No, let me, I, let me not bore you. Let me not bore you. Oh my goodness. When Jesus steps on the scene, woman, it's a different story. Say, do you want to get well? Story, 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 story. God, eh, do you want this fire? Mm, but God, I have to be like Lady Kims. I, I, have to, I have to have been doing this God thing for a while. What is she talking about? What is she talking about? I've stepped on the scene. I've stepped on the scene. It's crazy. When I'm here, it's like a whirlwind. When Jesus is present, it's like, Whoa, what happened? That's your testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 See, I have no one to stir me. Someone else goes ahead of me. Every time I want to enter, the can to just say she's doing this one. Makele Bush. Every time I want to I want to write the book, somebody else will now have the idea. <laughs> ah, Makaya Basset Helebosha. See now, they are marrying before me. Ah, who will marry me? Have you forgotten what I did? Makele Bosha Tayabasatali Ah, Lekese Telebosha. 
It's raining down his spirit. God's spirit is raining down. And it's here for you. Amen. Amen. That's <laughs> your marriage. Who you validate God. That same marriage. <laughs> All right. Say so there's nobody. Then Jesus said to him, get up. He said, no. Even me, I'm tired on your behalf. <laughs> That's it. Um, women, uh, the, the world is just saying that women, we are not relevant. The world is telling us that uh, we are the back back. We should be at the back seat. We have to fight for our right. Get up. What is wrong with you? Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten what I placed on the inside of you? Have you forgotten what I called you? Get up. I said you're the one. You're the one that will get the job done. Get up. There's no time. That is what God wants me to tell you. There's no time. If you thought you had time, sorry. No more time. God is set for you. Don't know you people here keep drawing me. God is set for you. God is set for you too. Even if you don't draw me, God is coming. Yes, he's ready. He means business. You know, for so long, women, we feel small. We feel like uh, we have to shout so that we can be seen. Because it's like, get up. Just show up. That's all. Show up with your femininity and that's it. Show up with the power that I gave you and that's it. Show up. Your presence is all that matters. You just show up. Amen. Amen. Just show up on the scene. Just show up on the scene and I have it all figured out. I'll do the rest. Just stand up. Stand up. Stand on the word. This is who I am. This is who God has called me. Let it be unto me according to your word, Father. You know the scripture that talks about the women? <laughs> oh God, women, God. You will know who you are. You will know. Don't worry. You will know. Say that even an unbelieving husband, your lifestyle, just, just your lifestyle. Say that your gentleness, your quiet spirit, worship me. The way you love me like a mad woman. Just that. It will change him. It will fix him. And then we're talking, that same principle applies in the world. Mm. God opened my eyes. He said, you are fighting with your flesh. You are fighting with your power. And I'm saying, just leave. Show what it's supposed to be like. They will adjust. Woman, show what I look like. They will adjust. You know, I'm not talking about married folks here. I'm talking about you. Show what a godly person should look like. They will adjust. Yes, show. Show it up. Show, show. Display it. They will adjust. That is the, the greatest miracle that will happen in our day. Not that women are fighting and shouting. Mm -mm. No. I'm talking about your lifestyle. The way you live. The way you even respond to persecution. Will be like, what's going on here? Who are these people? What's happening? Say, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they do. Father, forgive this man for he knows not what he does. Father, forgive these men for they know what, know what they do. Then you have started. It doesn't make sense. The world is telling you to go this way. God is saying go this way. That's the fire that you carry. That way, see, when it comes, you won't feel the impact. When the impact of persecution comes, you won't feel it. That's what it means to be fire. If something is still affecting you and you're still bending and you're still doing like this and still doing that, like, it means that it has a hold over you. Mm. God is set for you. He's sitting on this matter. He's serious about it. So you are truly fire. Says, <laughs> he says, he says, get up, pick up your mat and walk. There's something I gave you. Start walking with it, please. There's something I gave I didn't just drop you on the surface of the earth. Both man and woman, this is for you. Everything that God gave you when you were coming here, start walking with it. I'm telling you, people in Saudi Arabia, they are waiting for you. 
it's you it's still this you i remember last year when god was on my case about nigeria praying for nigeria i was like what is all this god where did this one come from and that's how we waking up i'll be praying you'll be showing me this national assembly this and that this 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 i'm like god all god needs just keep praying just keep that prayer they say mm, prayer and work mm, you will get the strategy in that place on your knees yes it's that place you get it and see your prayer it will start on sitting all the people that hey jesus mark hele bosh you know there's how you will be praying all the people that are not supposed to be where they are you start on sitting them then the ones that are sleeping that should be there they will start waking up you think all the things that are happening ah this one from the national assembly did this 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 this, this. Uh, somebody had to unseat him somebody prayed about it yes it's happening it's up gets it's about to get deep it's about to get deeper even in the house of god it's about to get deeper yeah i said it in god said it not me judgment is starting with my house i i mean it it's happening so your prayer is not useless your prayer for justice is not useless god knows what he's doing Haba. sovereign lord mm -mm, you can't put him in a box so he said who is this fellow so I, I want to hammer on that whatever it is that god has given you to do start doing it start doing it if it's for children start doing it because you see those ones hey <laughs> they are the ones oh they are the ones i don't know how many of you want to stay another hundred years in this place we are tired now we want to go and meet our eternal father mm. it's, it's we are already jerrying up and we're the ones that will finish it we're the ones that will get it done we are our children we'll get it done so if god has impressed on you to be interceding for the for children start now start today that the children of our day they will not hear the voice of a stranger that voice that distraction come and watch this come and play this come and do this they will not join the kind of gangs that they are not supposed to join if you are single start praying that every seed of yours they will not just, whatever whatever it is they will not even be liberal I, I i i reject liberality in the lives of my children and it's fine i'm i'm all for the human good no we are for god's good we are for the kingdom good yes. and our children are for the kingdom good yes. that's it they are not going to do anything other than that Amen. Amen. So if God has put that grace to intercede, we should all be intercessors, but there are some that the thing is, you know how he's doing you. Yeah. Start doing it. He says, so they asked him, okay, no, pick up your mat and walk. So they asked him, who is this fellow who told you to pick, pick it up and walk? The man who was healed had no idea and slipped into the crowd that was there. <laughs> you know, when he, he picked it up, at once the man was cured. At once, I remember when I was writing about this woman a fire thing, and God was telling me zero to one hundred real quick. It's going to happen fast. They've told you there's a process to this thing. Hmm? There's a method. This is how it goes. This is how we do it. And Jesus is like, ah, I stepped on this scene, so that all that all that has changed. Right here, right now, you will get your deliverance. In fact, some of us we've gotten it. We've gotten our healing. You will stand up like this and begin to walk in the fullness of who you are. In the fullness of your calling. You will not be shy. Shy? No. When they saw the apostles, they, they saw what? Their boldness. The scripture said they saw their boldness. You can see it. They saw their boldness and what did they say? They had been with Jesus. They saw their boldness. I pray over you the spirit of boldness yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. But you know the thing is, you have to have been. Oh. You have to have been. You have to have been. You have to have stayed. It, it, will, it will come out. It will be a fruit of your koinonia. Your fellowshipping. They will see your boldness. They will see it. it it's not that ah, I'm doing. Yeah, I know we are not doing things to be seen. But you see, when it comes to the things of God, say, I rise and shine. 
a city that is set. Where are you set? You are set. You can't you can't hide this God thing. I want to do it. I want to do it quietly. I don't want to be too loud. It, it can be confusing. I don't want people to think that my own is too much. And have a, a city that is set. That thing in you that God has put, you can't hide it. As long as you have been, once you step on the scene, it will just be pouring out. It will just, you can't even help it. That's why it's just that now there are some funny spirits that are also familiar spirits that are working. When somebody is passing that is carrying something in you, will start shaking. Like, God, what's going on? It's part, it's part of it. It's part of it. And so God has called some of us into certain places. So we can't hide. And it's an instant thing. You will go to your house and you will continue. God will fill the blank spaces, the, the blank spaces for you. But trust me, it has happened already. Amen. Amen. It has happened already. So you're going to defy logic. So I want to tell you, when, when we were singing that song, do it again. Open my eyes to see Jesus seated on the throne. We are seeing Jesus. We are seeing Jesus. Amen. Amen. We are seeing him like this. When he's in on the scene, everything changes. People are like, what's going on? What are these people? What's happening? What's happening with women in our day? That's right. We are fire. We have stepped up. We have woken up. Yes, we are no longer sleeping. Are we submissive? Yes. Do we love our husbands? Yes. But you see, the thing is, we are here to fulfill the business of the father. That's why we are here. So we've woken up. We're no longer sleeping. Hallelujah. Amen. So when Jesus steps on the scene, everything changes. So when I'm calling you, when, when we're saying you're fire or fire, it's not because of you. It's not because of you. It's not what you just like to say about yourself. It's who God calls you. It's what God has said about you. He said, I will be a fire around her and the glory in the midst of her. Yes. When you are fire, glory sets. Eh? And the glory of God is not this light. The glory of God is the nature of him inside of you that is oozing out for men to see. That is the glory. So when you are fire, you are carrying his nature like this. And anything that wants to step, <laughs> too bad. You can't even see it. If I tell you the opposition I faced before this meeting had, you will shock. Like too bad. This work must be done. Yes. Devil, you're a liar. Amen. Amen. So that's it. When Jesus steps on the scene, trust me, it's Jesus that is making it happen. The Holy Spirit is overshadowing each and every one of us. And we're good to go. We're good to go. Please, can I get someone on the keys? <laughs> and <laughs> oh my goodness. You remember the fig tree? And then when Jesus cut the fig tree because he wanted fruit from it. And then he didn't produce. And Jesus cursed it. Hello? Do I still have us? Yes. Ah. And it's like the scripture said that it, it was not the season. Ah. It was not the season. Hey, let all set earlier. It was not the season, no. For small Kemi and small Fred to start church. It was not the season. It was not the season. It's not the season for you to be worshipping God when you just lost someone. It's not the season. And God came and cursed it. He said it's not the season. It's not his fault now. The natural order of things. He said that it cannot produce at this time. And Jesus said, curse be this tree. Hey, little satire, woman, you are fire. It doesn't make sense. We are hearing things. They did this to this one. This one is suffering from this. This one had this. This one was abused at this. This one just, we just found out that this one was raped at this. We are just, we, and God is saying, you are fire. It's not the season. There's so much darkness. It seems like it's not the season. But Jesus is like, I'm here now. I'm here. I stepped into the scene. Produce. Marco Palia Dolcetelia. I stepped into the scene. Produce. It doesn't matter how long. 
It doesn't matter how long. It doesn't matter what you think your nature is, is like. This I'm, I'm shy. I'm usually, I'm usually quiet. God is like, ah, when? Who defined that? Which mirror is she looking at? Which mirror is she looking at? Which mirror are you looking at? Ah, is she interfacing with me at all? Is she interfacing with my word? I said she's fire. She's like, ah, it's not the season. What do you mean by it's not the season? This is not what's popular in my time. This is not what's popular in our day. It's not, it's not, this is not, it's not cool right now. It's not cool right now to not dance to certain songs. You'll be like, your own is too much. This is the season when people are asking, is it okay to dance to Malibush? Can I worship God and also hey, produce? When Jesus is in need of something, <laughs> blessed are you when you produce it. Let me put it that way. When God is in need of a people in the earth, the timing in the heavens it has reached. The natural order of productivity in the earth is not now. But you see, we operate by a divine timing. We operate by a divine frequency. We are not picking our cue from this place. We are picking our cue from that place. So when God says it is time, it is time. When he says you are fire, you are fire. It doesn't matter whether there was precedence. It doesn't matter what is happening. The woman that went to touch the hem of Jesus' garments, there was no precedence. She started it. When I read scripture, I now said that uh, when Jesus others now started touching, she started it. She, she began the move. You are a move starter. You say there's a move of God, there's a move of God. You are the move. There's a move of God, there's a move of God. It's you. There's a move of God, there's a move of God. It's like a revival. You are the revival. What is the revival? Is it this thing? Is it a shear? Or is it the wind? What are you talking about? You are what God is waiting for. You are not waiting on God. See, the days where we say, God, I'm waiting on you, it has passed. There's no time. Anything that God wants done, he's like, where are you? I need you now. See, there are things that you are waiting for that has not happened. Check it, it may not be in the agenda of God for this season. Uh, I'm waiting. God, I'm waiting. God, I'm waiting. The Bible says, those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. See, if you are weak and you are, you are tired, oh God, I'm, and you are in sorrow, check it, you are not waiting. Because when you are really waiting, strength comes on you. You will, you will what? Uh -huh. If you are not sorry, you are not waiting. Yes. We've turned waiting into what? A place of passivity, a place of crying, a place of desiring. And God is like, what's wrong with you? This is the time. Heaven needs you. The earth is groaning. The earth is crying. We are the daughters of Zion. In this Abuja especially. We are too dull. We are like, the, we, we flow with the weather. As it's cool, we are cool. Because you know Lagos, everything is sharp, sharp. Everything is hurry, hurry. So there's a little fire. Just naturally, there's fire. Abuja, we are too. I remember when I came, I could sense the atmosphere. I, I, when I started, when I started praying, I could sense the atmosphere of this city. Like my husband, my husband said, you go into a city and you can tell, you know, you will know what the prevailing spirit is. This one, religious spirit is here. But we are here to change it. This Abuja is too dull. It's too dull. We need the fire of God. And that's why God is raising. Because women are the ones that will start it. He said the Lord proclaims the word. Great is the company of them that publish it. Great is the company of the women that will publish it. We are the ones to take it. Gone are the days of sitting cool, calm, and collected. You'll be sitting cool, calm, and collected. The devil is entering your home. He's sitting on your husband. He's sitting on your children. He's sitting on your mom. He's sitting on your father. 
He's sitting on your business. He's sitting on everything because you are cool. Come and collect it. You better scatter. Hey, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because none of you are remaining the same. It's too bad. Too bad for the enemy. We had this meeting, Abby. So it's a serious thing. You are locked in it. You are locked in it. It's time for us to be hot. Oh, Makele Bosch. It's not someone else's husband that will make you happy. Yes. Yes. Malakaya Bashetelianda. It is not. It is not. Take your eyes off. Take your eyes off. Set your eyes on Jesus. It's not even your own husband that will make you happy. Are you joking? Yes, yeah, some days he makes you laugh and all that, but Jesus is the one. The joy on your inside, nobody can take it. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what it is. I can sleep on this matter. I can sleep here until you awaken. Until you awaken. God is waiting, especially Abuja. You know, we are, the, we are the federal capital for a reason. We are waiting for things to happen in Lagos first. Before Abuja people will just start. And God is like, are you joking? Whatever you transport here, that is what the world would receive. Nigeria is not yet standing because Abuja is still a mess. Abuja, the, the spiritual frequency here is still shaking. It's still shaking. And God is saying, I need my daughters to arise. I need them to arise. Don't, 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 don't stay talking about things that don't matter. Stay warring. Stay fighting in the spirit until that which the Lord wants in the earth is done. Say, when God says, well done, well done, good and faithful, sir. well done, is done. We want, the, we want the works of God done. We are not doing it in heaven, it's here. The work to be done is here. And we say, we want it done, done, done. As in finished. So you see, when, when the apostle, apostle will say, I finished, I fought the good fight, I finished. Some of us are still saying, eh, is it possible to really, you don't even know when God, this, this, that. Yeah, we may not know when God is coming. But some of us, <laughs> you see those five wise virgins, they went to oil their lamb when they were supposed to oil their lamb. They went to do what they were supposed to do when they were supposed to do it. Why do you think so? I want to I want an answer. Why do you think they all the alarm? They understood the times. Some of us are waiting. Trumpets. Which one did you hear? That you are waiting for the last one. Tell me the ones you've been hearing. The sound. I want to hear. I want to know whether it will be an actual trumpet. Because it means that if it's last, it means others have been sounding now. What are you hearing? What are you picking? Things that have oh, we are in the last days. We are just saying we are in the end time. It's in the end times, but we don't understand. There's a battle. See, it's finishing now. There's a battle for finishing. There's a, there's a reason why they call it finishing power. Staying power. So we must understand. Woman, you must pick it. Do you know why you, you need to know your identity? Because if we're still struggling with identity matters, we can't step into the places God wants us to step into. We won't be able to take our formation. When I was I was dilly-dallying in the whole identity thing, God, um, people who are in ministry, they have stories of how they really suffered first, how this thing, and me, I don't have. Let me tell you how mind the enemy can play with your mind. See, you will think that okay, those ones that's what it, it was a limitation for them that ah, I didn't, I suffered so God, I can't really do it. And oh, my own, I, I said, God, okay, the kind of suffering that people have been talking about, I don't think I went through it, so I don't think you really want me. You didn't call me, I didn't know that this was part of what was holding me back oh, until God opened my eyes. Bam. You don't feel worthy because you think that people will not see that see the Jesus in you enough. They will feel like it's not your type that are carrying Jesus. And he held me back. But notice, but not even it's not a notice again now. We have come to pack his things out. 
whatever it is, whatever mind game that the enemy has been playing, is in the mind. You see, if that fruit, eat it, is the mind. Go on, he does not really want you. Ah, woman, you see how the world is telling you that you are not relevant, so fight. That's what happened on the, in the garden. Eh? That's what happened in the garden. God said, I've made you in my image and in my likeness. You now went deep. Then the devil is not telling you that eh, because of the way the world people are treating you, maybe you were not really made in the image of God. So fight. Eat it. Eat of it. Fight. Fight. Be fighting. Be busy fighting. So that the work of God will not be done. Be fighting. You eat. What happened? She didn't eat alone. She gave. So, by the grace of God, you will not transfer disobedience. In the name of Jesus. That is the power a woman has. You are either transferring God or you are transferring the transferring obedience or you are transferring disobedience. That's how powerful you are. So if you are waiting and waiting and trying to fight it with your might, you will lose. You've even lost before you started. So you see this thing, this power that we have. Do you know why it needs to be controlled? Because it can consume you. Yes. Yes. God is wise. He's the all wise God. He put you under submission to control the power so that it doesn't eat you up. Yes. And those around you. That's why he put it in you. That's why he, he put his safeguard. He's safeguard. It's not that it's restriction. He's safeguard. That's how much he loves you. So if you are fighting with your energy, you are missing out on things that God wants you to be doing. You are eating of the apple, the fruits. She was there. She was probably looking at the apple. And she probably, this one that I now said I should do it. What does it mean by that? Eh? Why would they tell me that as a woman, I cannot you are now fighting. One of our sisters gave testimony in church. She was cooking. She loves to cook. In her husband's house, she was cooking. She loves to cook. The enemy just started whispering. Why are you even cooking? Says. You just came back from work and you're cooking. Is that what? Is that your life? You now want to be angry with somebody that did not offend you? She said it with her mouth. That's how tricky it comes. And before you know, you eat of it. So, woman, your identity is not what happened to you. <laughs> it is what you are happening to. It's not what collided upon you. It's what you are colliding into. That is who you are. You are not small. If I leave, hey, Jesus, Male coach, when they put me in this establishment to be managing the opposition, they gave me tight, so I did not ask. They gave me executive director, ED. I didn't ask for it. And they, <laughs> a woman came, a parent. I have a complaint. Blah, blah. Okay, let's take it to her. ED, where is she? The, I was there. <laughs> ED of what? That was what she said. ED of what? So, see, you see this thing? I've, I've, it's part of what was making me. Ah, you are fire. That's it. You are fire. Take it. So, it's maybe in your workplace. God is setting you up to show you who you are. So don't see it. I'm so defeated. Look at my life. They don't respect me. Or is it here that I'm pastor's wife? That a lot of them are my age mates. You understand? So you take it. Are you real? It makes it makes you who you are. Hey Jesus. It makes you who you are. So I'm grateful to God for this day. Because you have been set free. You have been set free. Jesus has stepped in. You've had an encounter with him. As you've had an encounter with him, he makes you. He makes you what he wants you to be. And it is perfect for you. I keep saying if this whole Christianity thing is a scam, I didn't lose. Marco said earlier. You know those philosophers I want to be asking. Eh? What if there is no heaven and there is no hell and there is no God? Fine. I get to be a woman of integrity. I walk in righteousness. I'm kind. 
I'm loving. If you if you want me, I will take this side. So I didn't lose. So that's what it means to be unstoppable. There will come all sorts of philosophies. Eh, but as a woman, like this, this is this. No, no, no. You don't get to define me. It's the word. I stand on it. That's what sets it. That's the rock upon which I stand. The word of God. It's not changing. How many of you are bored? Don't be bored in Jesus' name. <laughs> God, yes, mama. We are fire. So be hungry. This is what I'm going to leave you with. Let me tell you a little story. I won't take too much of it. To be honest, what are you going to do after this place? I will take your time. God has given me the permission. Do you know that? I was just, it was last year. Oh. There's a story before last year, but let me just tell you. From last year, I was just, do you know, Shelley? Meaning, what's happening? I don't understand. I was restless. And then, do you know what happened? The Lord said, fast. I didn't know what I was fasting for. But I was just restless and I was tired. I was like, God, there's more to you now. There's more to you. See, God, I want to see the best you can do with man. I'm just tired of this, what I'm seeing and what is like, mm, I, what, what's the best? Okay, you said like Jesus. Okay. I was just restless and God just said, fast. just fasted. Jeje. After I fasted, heavy hunger consumed me when I say consumed I was hungry like I was looking for God everywhere that's the recipe for this thing we are talking about say blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness for they will be as they shall be filled it's not that you may be you will so when it's, okay, yeah, it's easy for you to say hunger just mm, the word says it if blessed are you when you hunger you shall be filled if you're feeling like okay god I, I've, I've not even read my bible see if you are not desirous to read your bible read it though it, uh, ha, uh, 10 steps how to desire to read the bible read it <laughs> let me tell you when you don't desire to read the bible it means you are sick uh, you know when you don't have appetite for food sometimes if you check it there's an illness. There's something wrong. So when you are sick, that's where you should eat. Uh, so that the medicine can work. It won't work on empty stomach. So you see, I'm not, I don't feel like reading my, these days, you know, I don't know, it's hard. Mm, read it. Just open it and read it. Read it. Just read it. The hunger will start coming. The more you read it, the hunger will come. Say, Holy Spirit, descend upon me. What you intended when you were writing this scripture, show me. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Let's go. That's where to start. That's really where to start. Hunger. Let there be a hunger welling up on the inside of you. This thing that Lady Kenz has been talking about. I know much more than what I've been saying. God has been saying other things to you. So, as you leave this place, just keep saying that hunger. Let it well up. Let it well up. Because that's where you'll be filled. God told me. He said, Whatever your the, the, your your the, my daughters bring is what I will fill up with. Mm. So you may live here. Somebody else's manifestation may seem so big and grand, and your own is is what you brought. Though. Mm. Is what you brought. If you brought eight jars of your heart space, he will fill eight jars of your heart space. If it's two, he will fill two. Because can, where will he pour it? So those whose hearts we expanded and he expanded as they came here, they are the ones that are gonna leave this place. Like, whoa, I can barely walk. Because mm. it will be heavy on you. It will be heavy on you. So hunger. So don't say I, I don't feel like when you don't feel like, please do it. Eh, that thing you don't feel like doing it. That's where it's coming from. That's where the power will come from. Uh, the word that uh, everybody says, read the word. Is there something else? There's nothing else. That word. He says he honors his word above his name. Mm, that word is the thing. The, the, we've downplayed it a bit. It's not, uh, yeah, we hear the word of God. I need another gym gym. That is the gym gym. Be hungry. Say, God, show me who you are. I'm tired of hearing stories. I want to know. 
Then before you know it, my brain just, I couldn't even contain the level of information and revelation that was now coming because of hunger. So if you don't even desire to read, just, just say that prayer under your breath. Father, give me the desire to read your word. Because it's not your word I'm reading, it's you. It's you. It's you. You didn't bring me to this earth to just pass time. No. See, even if you were a child out of wedlock, God, <laughs> Jesus, when I say you can't put God in a box, so maybe that's what the enemy has been using to torment you. That ah, you didn't come as a legitimate person. It's a lie. It's a lie from the pit of hell. You are as legitimate as any other son. He, God, God, he arranged it. Let me tell you. Ah, yeah, Basira and Mr. So, so, so. They will make this error. This child, she will not be the error. I will put in her something. He calculated it. Your parents' mistake, Abby. He calculated it. He put it in his grand scheme. He didn't start scratching. He said, ha, what will I now do? Oh, yeah, just stay. When your time is up, be going. No. He calculated it. He said, these two, they will meet. They will make this mistake. Out of that mistake, I will still do something. Because I am God like that. So if the enemy has been making you feel like mm, you are not worth it, it's a lie. He paid a price for you too. Amen. Amen. Can we just begin to thank the Lord? Can we just begin to thank the Lord? Can we just begin to thank the Father? Hmm. Make his say tellable. Oh, Father, we thank you. Ah, thank you, Lord, because you are baptizing us with fresh fire. We will not live the same way we came. We understand now who we are. We have a clear picture and a clear understanding of what we are and what we are, what we are carrying. We know that we are carrying the solution that the world needs. I know that as I'm standing here, I'm a well of solutions. I know that as I'm standing here, I'm not what happened to me. I am who your word says I am. As I'm standing here, I'm not what the world defines me to be. I am who you call me to be. Father, these are the days where your sons and daughters manifest. I declare that I will manifest every dimension of my life. It will be a fruit for you, God. It will bring fruit for you God. I will be an expression of your nature. I will be an expression of your character. I will carry your glory on the inside of me and I will show the world. I will show the world who my father is. I will show the world who my father is. Hey, I hear God say that he, you know the scripture, he says, I use the foolish things. The very foolish things. The weak things. They've called you weak. They've called us weak. Okay. They're about to see. They're about to know what hit them. Oh, Maku Pradikadosh. Say you are weak, Abi. God has come to show forth his glory through your life. Ah, the Lord is repairing your womb. He's repairing your womb. I mean the physical and the spiritual womb. Everything that God gives you that you, you carry, you drop. You, he gives you a purpose, you carry, you drop. It's no longer dropping. You will carry well. You will carry well. You will carry purpose well. You will carry your baby. You will carry purpose. You will carry the agenda of God. No miscarriage. No miscarriage. No miscarriage. I declare over you. You will carry well. 
you will carry to full term and you will birth you will birth every desire of god you will birth every desire of god you will birth in the name of jesus that marriage thank you jesus that marriage that is falling apart god says i am putting you two together i am putting you together no you are not gonna hey you will not be a statistic i am putting you together i am mending the broken walls i am fixing the desolate places and i am giving you life i'm breathing forth new life a fresh life in your marriage in your home receive clarity receive clarity go for your masters i hear god say go for your masters you wanted to know which one to do god says go for your masters i need it the lord has need of it just like the donkey the lord has need it's not because he wants you to have a certificate he needs it there's where you are going and they will ask about it so get it done get it done get it done get it done thank you father thank you father before i call my husband up to round up in prayer there's something i want us to talk about i kept deflecting it but the holy spirit says no you have to share it you can sit if you like you can stand anyone it's in the book of revelation revelation chapter 12 revelation chapter 12 and you don't have to you don't have to feel anything you don't have to feel anything something has happened in your spirit and it can't be undone that is what i hear god say it cannot be undone what i've done on the inside of you cannot be undone it cannot be undone because i need it i need you i need you hallelujah mm. revelation chapter 12 i want to talk about this our time is fast spent a great sign appeared in heaven a woman clothed with the sun with the moon under her feet and a crown of 12 stars on her head she was pregnant and cried out in pain as she was about to give birth then another sign appeared in heaven an enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on its head it still swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth the dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that it might devour her child the moment he was born <laughs> there are things in you and you are about to give birth mm, and there's a dragon every time a woman is about to birth whether it's a, an actual baby or any purpose of God. There's a dragon, aka opposition. Mm, he stands. He says he stayed at so that he can carry it as soon as it is born. So do not think that when you are done, you are done. Mm -mm, you're not done until you are done. Mm. Do not, you, you, it's not over until it's over. There will be opposition. But I, I'm, I'm armoring you with this word so that you will know that, who, you will know who is for you. You will know who is with you. And it matters more to God than you, that you breathe than, you, than it does to you. It matters more to God. It matters more to God. So don't be afraid. 
But I want you to know so that you are not ignorant. So that when things start, start happening, you won't be distracted. Because things will happen. Eh, you can't be manifesting and things won't shake. It will shake. Things will shake. <laughs> it says, <laughs> The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that he may devour her child the moment he was born. She gave birth to a son, a male child, who will rule all the nations with an iron scepter. And her child was snatched up to God and to his throne. Hallelujah. Every, every purpose of God, as you birth it, it will be snatched by God. In the name of Jesus. The enemy will not have his hand on your matter. He will not have his hand on that which God has called you to do. We, we, we dispel the enemy. We dispel the power of the enemy. And we declare that you are free to be. Every opposition, you win. In the name of Jesus. Heads or tail, you win. In the name of Jesus. Ah, here's it. The woman fled into the wilderness to a place prepared for her by God. You are all going into your prepared place. That place that God is God. Do. He prepared it. It may look different for different people. But God is the one who has prepared it for you. It's a hiding place. So when you are not prominent, when you are not visible, when you are not on the limelight, it is God that is protecting you. Know it that it is God. He will hide you for a season. He will hide you for protection. He says if she fled and says a place prepared for her by God where she might be taken care of. God has he has he has said he's taking care of you he has set you up to be taken care of see that thing that the enemy thought would crumble you that's the thing God is using to take care of you that is exactly what God is using to take care of you see they thought they took from you mm -mm. you think you are in a place of obscurity eh eh God wants to take care of you. He wants to show out. I want to show. I want when you want to show off and show out. I want to take care of you. Both you and your seed, none of you will be taken. See, you will not step into purpose and die because of it. No, 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 no. You will not lose your husband. You will not lose your children because you stepped into purpose. No, not allowed. God will take care of you and take care of your seed. He will take care of you and take care of your family. So don't be afraid. That thing God has told you to do, go and do it. If he sent you to the prisons, go there. Go there. Don't be afraid. He will take care of you there. It's the place that nobody goes. It's the hidden place. It's not prominent, but he will take care of you there. He has promised to take care of you. And he will. You think that's all? Then war broke out in heaven. Mm -hmm. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the and, and, and the dragon and his angels fought back. Hello. <laughs> Over your matter. There is war. You you understand? There is war. See, don't just be looking at the things that are happening here. There is a spiritual war on your head. But do you know what? The angels are fighting. What's happening with you? You are being taken care of. Don't be afraid. That place, the political space, is too messy. Step into it. You will be taken care of. If God has called you there, you will be taken care of. Is it the business world? Are women in business? Are we many? Are we doing stuff? Are we go there? You see, some may trust in her horses. We will trust in the name of our Lord. And we will run. We will overtake with our leg. We will overtake. Yes. Amen. You will overtake. So wherever it is that God has called you, go there. You will be taken care of. They are fighting. No? I don't want you to be ignorant. As you are writing your business plan, they are fighting. 
as you want to set up their NGO they are fighting as you want to deliver girls from the streets they are fighting as you want to get yourself right you want to live like Christ there is a war but you will be taken care of God himself will take care of you you will be you can you'll be alone sometimes it's okay one with God is what so if if all the people are doing what they are doing and you seem like you are the your bad people say oh jassy you, you don't jassy you are not cool like that but me too i want to be able to sing beyonce songs now is it doesn't mean beyonce is bad uh, if you are the only one that will not sing don't sing if God has said don't sing don't sing if God tells you your inner ear not this one because I want you to be hearing sounds that are coming from heaven so I don't want your ears clogged up with things of this world so if God says don't hear don't hear if he says don't sing don't sing so you may stand alone you may be in the wilderness it may be only you it's okay. It's okay to start the president. It's okay to set the president. It's okay to be the first. And you are not the first. Mm -hmm. Guys have gone ahead of us. They are cheering us on. We have a cloud of witnesses. They are saying keep going. Tokesi keep going. And they said. I, 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 it's, I have to. I, I, <laughs> you have to so close that a trendy. But it's revealed. Mm -mm, keep going. Keep going. My tailoring business will not boom if I don't sew the kind of clothes that women want to wear today. Mm -mm, keep going. We are cheering you on. There's, we, you have a cloud of witnesses. They want to reveal their shoulders and their breasts and their bums. You will not be a part of that. Keep going. We are cheering you on. We are cheering you on. You will win. Amen. So I'm saying this to say that you, you will be faced with opposition, persecution. Sometimes God allows us to feel it here in the earth. Amen. Uh, sometimes you will feel, ah, kill us, Shella. something is happening in the realms. What happened? You will feel it a bit. Sometimes God just wants you to have a preview of what he's doing on the backside. You think that that thing was meant to kill you. I just wanted to show you. I wanted to show you what you have stepped into. I want you to know you are fire. They are mad. They are crazy. They don't know what hit them. Ah, leko setele bosh. So yes, what will break out over your matter is is bound to happen. It's bound to happen. It's bound to happen. Ah, leko setele yanda. Eke setele bosh atalia. What happened? But he was not strong enough and they lost their place. That's the dragon. They are not strong enough. What you are carrying and who is carrying you? <laughs> it's too big. Big. They are not ready. Any enemy that comes after you will be defeated. In the name of Jesus. It says the great dragon was hurled down. That ancient serpent called Satan who leads the whole world astray so you have to be sure that he's not leading you be sure that the enemy is not leading you every time you are faced with that decision you want to make that decision be sure that you are hearing the voice of God and not the voice of the enemy be very sure, be certain be very certain because that's what he's here to do to kill, to steal, to destroy, finish so the manner at which he goes about it doesn't matter some people he has given them so much wealth that they are loaded in it that they cannot see that they are poor mm. like the letter to the churches in revelation you see i see you think you are rich you are poor you are wretched that is what god said so whatever it is that seems like it i hear so many testimonies god i pay my tithe so i can fornicate you are joking I pay my tithes. I, I, God is blessing me, so I must be on the goods, his good books. You are joking. You are joking. I can sleep with that man, that married man. It's okay. As long as I come and worship him. You are joking. 
So no, not anymore. Not anymore. The devil will not lead any of us astray. In the name of Jesus. He was held down to the earth and his angels with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our brothers, let me jump. Verse 13. When the dragon saw that he had been hurled to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth. Yes. If they are chasing, they are chasing you. Sometimes they are they chasing me from home. It's not home. It's not your people in the village. It's not them. It's not actually actually them. Mm, is that is that same dragon? He's chasing you. That addiction that is just there. It's not going. It's part of it. It's pursuing you. That relationship, they are pursuing you. They want you by all means. And ah, God is saying no. That opportunity you want to enter by all means. God is saying no. It's not of me. It's the enemy that wants to do you. I hope we know we have sons of Satan in the earth. As in, in human body, as in they are fulfilling. So there are two kinds: those who don't know that they are fulfilling the agenda of the devil, and those who are away. Yes. So. Yeah, Abby. Mm. There are two kinds. So sometimes you may be ignorant and not know that ah, that thing I just did. The devil pushed me. You may not know, but there are those who are away. That's the agenda. They are here. And God is telling women, wake up. He's calling his sons and daughters, wake up. Wake up. Those ones, they are meeting. We are entering this place, we are entering this place, we are in, they have strategy. And God is even begging us. Stay in the church for three hours, it's too long. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> It's so long. Like church should just be like, I ain't doing me fast pass. Instant noodle for five minutes. We're good. It's not that deep. But after 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 forty five minutes, my mind starts depreciating. That's a sign that you are not a spirit being. Uh, because in the in the, the things of the spirit, it appreciates. Yeah, the longer you stay, the longer you can stay. Uh, church is too. It's not that deep. It's not supposed to be that long, sister. The enemy is having his way. But you can watch a series, season one, season two, season three, back to back. The enemy is having his way. Yeah, you feel me, Osas? Yeah. God stripped me from all those things. Seriously. I can watch. I used to. Now I can't be looking for. I can't even. I'm like, what is this? What's going on? I can't watch movie. What's happening? I, I want to watch. It's not inside you again. Uh, I've replaced it. The hunger has changed. So I can stay. You can stay. Five hours in my presence. See, let me tell you, corporate gatherings like this, they generate more energy, more power. Yes, because it's, it's about you and I. If I'm here alone, I can't generate the amount of spiritual energy I'm generating right now. So, when you are fellowshipping with your brothers as a power, you see the days of Pentecost that you descended, is the togetherness. Is that they came together? Said, ah, one person cannot carry this. <laughs> you can't only you cannot carry this God's stuff. He's too big, so he needs to distribute. This is what they call manifestation. Yeah. So don't be tired by looking at a pastor. Ah, I said I was going to watch a movie with my friend. Who at three o'clock, man, lady cares what's happening. This thing is getting longer than than necessary. I even said, I said, God, I don't want this thing to be too long, man. Make it sharp, sharp, let people get it. It's not like that. It's not always like that. It's not always like that. Yes. So you stay, let the word, let it soak inside you. So when you are going, when they press you outside, somebody matches your leg, you won't be offended because it's God that is coming out. You have stayed in his presence so long that everything that is oozing out of you is him. They press you like this, God. They pinch you, God. They squeeze you like this. It's God that is coming out because you have stayed. Say those who dwell. Not those who visit. Not those who have 45 minutes and quiet time. Those who dwell. 
those who dwell they live there say so if you are not enjoying this corporate guy you are not you will enjoy heaven uh, is this is what you are testing here that you will taste there if you've not started liking it here you can't like it there don't mind my rasness it comes out uh, if you are not enjoying eternity now it's transitional it's a transition it's not that ah the earth world has ended boom we jump into heaven it's not like that he said he said enoch walked with god what happened what happened he was taking you are just going you are looking like you are looking like what's wrong with this guy he's looking like me too much let's go that's it small small just be walking just be walking woman you are fire just be going just be going it will take you it's a transition i was i've been sharing testimony i was telling my husband because he saw a revelation and truly that revelation has now become my life i feel like i'm floating things are happening in the earth but it's as if i'm not here hello is it happening to some of us please say yes it will happen i'm not here see things are happening no offense things that will drag me here and there but i'm not here you see two women will be doing what grinding uh-huh it's starting now yeah two people are they're doing the same thing you are tailoring it's the same thing you are in your office it's the same thing you're going to be doing the same activity it's the same it's not that you are not going to you'll be absent-minded you are doing the same thing but your cue you know what time what season what you ought to do until you are taken so god there's a reason god wants you to know this so that you won't think there's time and still think ah let me still go and flex it will be there's no time if you sat down here god meant you <laughs> and it's a good thing because if the world if we knew the time that god was coming the whole point would be defeated and let me tell you what the point is god wants to show that what he started in creation can actually be done people who look like him so if you knew that uh, you do everything you want to do and then when it's ah it's almost 12 oh jesus we're ready come take me now that's what will happen but you won't look like him and that's why when you go the bible says they will shrink back in shame because they don't look like this is not what i look like so you don't want to shrink back in shame because you don't look like what you are you ought to look like so it's not that god is wicked i won't tell you the time i won't tell you when i'm coming <laughs> he's dangling carrot no he wants you to become the time he has put us on here on earth here is for us to transform you see as we behold in that in, 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 into the mirror we are we are what being transformed we are being changed into that image that is the essence to be like jesus that's why i say that's why you have ministry you have church that's why you are you are married is because in fact that's the best place <laughs> marriage will change you well forgiveness will just be it will be your watchword <laughs> yeah patience will be your watchword so selflessness that's where you die to self so it's not just because ah, this person's marriage is beautiful it's amazing i love my husband he knows everybody knows anybody that follows me on instagram knows <laughs> i love him to beats so it's not like marriage is not beautiful it's amazing but you will change to be like god so that's the whole point so god wants this is like a clarion call take this like a trumpet so that you will not be waiting for papa -pa -na -na -na. i've said it god is calling you adjust quickly i've put the resources around you i've put the right relationships around you don't even have an excuse now mm, because there are some people you've met here today that god has ordained for you covenant relationships so there's no excuse you say oh god i didn't hear i didn't know i wasn't sure say no no so be wise like the five wise virgins all your lamb get on fire build your prayer altar pray 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 let like, prayer be your lifestyle be hungry for god thirst after him and nothing else 
You see the feasts, the parable of the feasts. The kingdom of heaven is like the king that calls people to come and eat. What's the squeeze? No, what's the squeeze they give? I, I just married. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? So I can't really, <laughs> I can't come and eat this thing you're talking about because I'm full. Somebody just died. So I have to go and bury him. Hey, let call satire. Thank you. Thank you. See, it's a distraction. See, sometimes the things that God even he says, I just bought a land. So I want to go and tend it. I want to go and keep my land. So I can't eat. You see that thing, that banquet. Sorry, sir. I'm full. I'm full with money. I'm full with relationship. I'm full with business. I'm full with houses. And God is saying, are you kidding me? I prepared a table for you. So come and partake. You did not even, you didn't cook. You didn't provide money to make this thing happen. I just prepared it. And you're giving me excuses. Reasonable, I call them reasonable excuses. Because in the, in the, eye, in the, in the eye of reason, it makes sense. I just got married now. Uh, please give us time for honeymoon. No. He prepared eat of it. Eat of it. God is calling you now. Come and eat. This year, I'm not using it to do anything. This fire. I, I'm not using it in heaven. I want you to display it here and yet. And I'm ready to give it to you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. So when God is calling on you, please eat. Hmm? Say yes, Lord. Whatever, whatever feast, I will take everything and I will chop and clean mouth. Yes, I will be fully satisfied in you, in what you have prepared for me. Not the external things, but fully satisfied in you, in that which you have prepared for me, God. I want to be fully satisfied in you. Oh, Father, make her say tenable. Our own is even worse. Some people don't even know that you have a God on your social media. Is it fair? Is it good? People can't tell that you have a relationship with God and that's the place you are living. Some people say, I'm not what I post. Then what are you? God has given us a tool, technology. It's not the devil. Hello. It's God's agenda. Uh, there are people in Saudi Arabia that are receiving God because of technology. People in the deep, deep places. Some people like Raquel that do a lot of um, NGO work. They can reach out to people because of technology. They can put, please, we need donations so that the women, the girls in these IDPs can have parts to use. Because of technology, it can happen like this. So it's God's agenda. So if you are not using it for what it was created for, bless be you. Amen. So this is the time. This is the clarion call. Make that commitment in your heart. God, I'm not wasting any more time. I'm not wasting any more time. Fill me up. That feast, I want to partake of it. I want to partake of it. Amen. Let's just lift up our hands and thank the Lord. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word that has illuminated our hearts. Thank you because your daughters are not remaining the same. Thank you, Father, because they will not remain the same. Thank you because you have ignited the fire in their hearts. They are ready, Lord. They are ready. They are willing, God. They are willing. They are ready, God. They are ready. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The world awaits your manifestation. Woman, the world awaits your manifestation. This is that time. This is that season. No longer shall you play small. No longer shall you play small. No longer shall you play small. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Visit us in our dreams. Give us visions, oh God. Revelations, oh God. Depths and depths and depths in you, God. Until we become. Become. Until we become. To you be all the glory. Hallelujah. Amen.